which microphone should you use when shooting YouTube videos to get the best uh, sounding results and the best bang for your buck. Uh, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review three different microphones, starting with the JK Mic J044, uh, which is a very nice uh, little budget lavalier mic that produces surprisingly good results. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to a Ceramonic, a wireless solution that I also have tested, which uh, is obviously considerably more expensive than just using the lavalier but affords you additional flexibility because it's wireless. Uh, and from my experience, I've really noticed a significant difference when using different types of microphones, such as lavalier microphones, dynamic microphones, or even condenser microphones. So to give you an illustrative example, for example, if you're just inside and your primarily, primary goal is to shoot or to make videos like Let's Plays, I assume Let's Plays seem to be like a popular category these days, then obviously you don't need a wireless mic or necessarily a lavalier mic you might be better suited with uh, just picking a good old dynamic microphone that you can easily put on your desk and wire up to your audio interface of your choice and that will give you uh, also really terrific performance granted in my case it's i'm a little bit of a tech geek so i've tested all these different products so why don't we go ahead and you are right now, as you can see in the navigation below, you're watching the introductory part. Simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few close-up shots from each of these mics, explain to you the different benefits, and then we're going to go outside. And as you can see, we're going to do a mic test one, a mic test two, and a mic test three. And we compare all these different microphones, how they sound. And after you watched this video, you will understand, clearly understand which microphone to choose for specific use scenarios. And honestly, since I tested the JK Mic J before in one of my videos with a Boya wireless system, what I'm going to do right now to make it a little bit of a better reference test, I'm going to use one of my old audio micro track recorders and connect the lavalier directly to this external recorder because uh, recently I shot with different cameras. I shot with a Nikon. Right now I'm shooting with a Canon but I also shoot, uh, did shoot video with a 4K Sony and I really noticed that de even depending on which camera you use, the sound quality of your YouTube videos comes out vastly different. So using the external recorder to test the sound will also be interesting. So you see, it's not all about uh, the microphone. It's also about the uh, audio input in your camera or DSLR or the or your audio interface that you use with your computer so let's do a few close-up shots and get started with the sound test let's get going guys so now the first microphone we're going to test is like i said the jk mic j044 and maybe we can look at the back side you can see this comes in a variety of configurations and connectors i just have uh, the standard uh, audio jack I think I, in, in Europe we call it like 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And yeah, why do I love to use lavalier mics when shooting product reviews such as this? Simply because the benefit that a lavalier mic gives you is that it is close to your voice. So that really optimizes the sound and helps you to get great performance. So this is the first mic. We're going to go out in a second and uh, have a listening test to that. Uh, when I'm going to test this with my M Audio MicroTrack audio recorder directly connected, and maybe we can also once plug it in directly into the camera to see what the difference is. For example, between recording with a wired lavalier mic on an external audio recorder or the wired lavalier mic recorded directly into my Canon EOS M. The second test will be one of these Ceramonic wireless systems. They are really nicely built. And if I get a little bit closer, maybe you can already see the striking similarity with the Sony wireless transmitters and receivers. Um, the lavalier mics produce a surprisingly good sound, but like I said earlier, it also depends on your camera's microphone input. And considering that some of you guys, uh, I mean, I, I know there are people whose cameras, we are just starting out, if you don't have a little bit more professional camera like the Canon EOS line or like the more expensive Sony's, there are still quite a few cameras out there that don't have the microphone input. 
and that's when you basically need a external audio recorder. In that case, I wouldn't go for a wireless solution, but instead like a, just a wired one. But guys, then again, uh, just be aware of the fact that once you go for a wired solution with an external recorder, you have to go through the trouble of syncing the sound. So that's why I see wireless uh, lavalier mics being the number top one favorite way of recording audio for quite a few people on YouTube, simply because it can save you lots of time. You just uh, plug this into your camera. If your camera has a halfway decent microphone input, you just hit record and go, and you don't have to sync the audio in post. And yeah, finally, um, that's something most people may not expect, uh, just a good old Shure SM58. You might think, um, why would I use a big microphone like this? Well, there's a very simple reason. If you, I mean, if you are just at home and you want to shoot Let's Plays, then you're not going to run around outside. You don't have to worry much about it. You just sit in front of your computer and you talk into your computer and you record the Let's Plays with a built a microphone. Uh, excuse me, not built in, but like a stationary uh, kind of microphone. And obviously these microphones create a really, really nice sound, especially when connected to a quality audio interface on your computer or if you use them with a preamp. Interestingly enough, if you, let's say you start out with Let's Plays and one day that changes and you want to shoot maybe interviews, keep in mind that sometimes these wireless systems uh, can be combined. You just uh, take one of these XLR microphone transmitters and then you just plug that uh, transmitter just on the bottom of the microphone. So instead of connecting this uh, dynamic microphone directly to your computer and recording the Let's Plays like that, you could uh, just connect a wireless adapter on the bottom of this microphone and then, for example, run around and do an interview. And obviously, if you want to do an interview, if you have to mic up someone with this wireless set, that's much more cumbersome than just handing uh, the interview person the microphone and talking that way. Because a microphone you can, with a wireless uh, transmitter, you can easily hand around, while this is more permanently tucked on someone's jacket or something like that. So again, those are the three examples that we're gonna look at right now. A wired lavalier with an external recorder. Maybe I should put that here. Then we're gonna look at a wireless solution, which is directly recorded into your camera. And then we look at a more stationary setup with a classic dynamic microphone directly connected to your audio interface. So let's go outside and shoot some test footage and record the audio and see what it sounds like. So guys, right now you are listening to the Mic J044. It's the first microphone, lavalier microphone test. So that you can see what amazing sound quality lavalier mics such as this can produce for your video recordings. And like I previously said, I'm recording this on my portable audio recorder, the M-Audio Microtrack that I have used for a couple years now. And one benefit of using the Mic J004, whether it's with an audio recorder or a wireless system, is that the Mic J is a really sensitive microphone. As you have maybe just seen in a second, I don't have to put up the sensitivity of this microphone very high to get a really nice sound result. So without further ado, let's jump to the next uh, microphone review. So guys, right now we jump to the second microphone test. Uh, you are now listening to the Ceremonic UW Mic 9, which is a very nice, sturdy little wireless lavalier microphone. And just to reiterate this once more, I love these lavalier microphones simply because those are very small, nice little compact units. It's a metal casing and you can carry it around everywhere and you have the wireless freedom to record audio. If you just imagine uh, how cumbersome it would be if I would now have to run a wire or have somebody standing here with a boom pole just to record the perfect sound. The wireless systems really afford you a lot of flexibility simply because as you will see in part three or as I have uh, explained earlier, you can also connect uh, dynamic microphones with a wireless transmitter and then send that into your receiver unit right onto the camera. And the main benefit of having a lavalier is A, that it's so close to your voice, you just get a much better audio quality out of it. Guys, I'm just seeing right there, it's a funny boat driving by, and maybe I can catch this in a second. 
uh, yeah, the, the lavaliers are closer to your mic, you get a better sound quality and the sound gets recorded straight into your camera. So if you're shooting a lot of footage, you don't have to synchronize the audio track with the video track and post. Imagine you have uh, lots of different video shots, lots of different audio files, and you have to bring everything together, do a lot of cuts and edits, and it's just a, a huge time saver to have like a wireless uh, signal just coming, audio signal just coming straight into your camera and recording it. That way you can be much faster and save a lot of time in editing. So without further ado, let's head back inside and we do the final test of the dynamic microphone, which probably is best suited for when you want to do an interview or for people who love to do Let's Plays. So let's head back inside and check the third microphone that you can use for YouTube to improve your sound. And guys, here's a little bit of a bonus shot there. The Germans really love their boats. I don't know, maybe that's kind of like a houseboat. This is a new business trend, houseboats for rent. So without further ado, let's head back inside. Uh, and yeah, guys, uh, if you have time on the weekend, why don't you take a trip on the boat? That seems to be really relaxing and popular. So let's do the third microphone review. Uh, so guys, I'm back home and uh, let's check this out. We are now testing the third microphone, the dynamic microphone, a classic, the Shure SM58. And as you can see, uh, I'm sitting in front of my computer and here I have uh, this is a little bit of a special setup in my case. I have a preamp, a tube preamp that I'm using to connect this uh, dynamic microphone to my audio interface because my audio interface unfortunately is such an old firewire audio interface that it doesn't have an xlr microphone input but uh, i think for most pe most people would probably have a usb audio interface such as the focusrite or even maybe the behringer and there you can uh, connect it directly you don't necessarily need the preamp and if you're interested in two preamps it's a little bit of a geeky thing then i also have a video for the two preamp on my channel but like I said, the primary reason why I wanted to demonstrate this dynamic microphone is for the people who just primarily want to do, let's say, let's plays on your computer and record at home. Because let's face it, it's, it's a good sounding microphone. It's kind of useful. And maybe I can even show you if I remove the low cut, then it should produce an even more bassier voice. Some people ask me in the comments on some of my other videos that I made for microphones, how do I get that radio voice? And I think using uh, one of these microphones similar such as this can give you more of a radio voice because simply as you get closer, you have like this bassier sound and also these XLR microphones are great to use with preamps. So I'm putting the low cut back in and I've shown you the last sound test. Um, guys, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below and we are now gonna jump to the last part, the summary and conclusion. So guys, right now we jump to the last part of this review and uh, one last time I'm going to summarize everything and give you my personal conclusion of which microphone you should use for creating the perfect sound for your YouTube videos. And in this video you have clearly seen different types of microphones and I have demonstrated to you all the ins and outs. We started with this wired uh, solution, the so-called uh, MicJ044. And we connected this lavalier microphone to an M audio auto recorder. The second test that we did, we tested a wireless laugh mic system, which obviously isn't really cheap, but compared to Sennheiser and Sony systems that are dual channel, is still a somewhat of a budget solution. And then third, we looked at dynamic microphones and what performance you can get out of dynamic microphones specifically for applications that are more stationary simply because not everybody wants to walk around outside and shoot vlogs not everybody necessarily needs a wireless laugh mic system so for people who just want to do tutorials at home on their computer and then record that and upload it to youtube or for people who are gamers and they just want to record their gaming video and stream it to youtube or twitch for them a dynamic microphone as i have proven also creates a very nice sound and those uh, dynamic microphones are super robust and solid. So this concludes uh, today's video. Uh, obviously I have uh, lots of more useful audio and video equipment tutorials on my channel. You can see other cameras such as the Nikon DE5500 or the Sony Alpha 6300. 
as well as the video of the Canon EOS M which I'm using right now to shoot this review. So I encourage you to learn more about audio and video equipment on my channel. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. All the best to you guys. Take care. And since you watched this video on how to pick the perfect microphone for your YouTube videos, you may also be interested in, for example, video equipment such as the Ken EOS M that I just used to shoot uh, this tutorial video. Uh, and guys, I'm really amazed how many people have already subscribed to my channel because of the useful content that I provide here. And as everybody else, you can subscribe right now as well. I see you in the next video. All the best to you. Take care.